and welcome to the second edition of The Tiny Tennis, a new micro podcast from Tennis Podcast. New episodes of The Tiny Tennis drop on the first Monday of every month. I'm Nick Amell. On the main weekly series for Tennis Podcast, we cover top 10 ish lists in long form, but here on The Tiny Tennis, we get down and dirty with short and sweet episodes. Each episode is about 10 minutes or less. On the first episode of The Tiny Tennis last month, we covered ketchup. And this month, we're covering something else red. Lava. And I hope you lava top 10 lists as much as I do, because my brain is about to erupt with today's topic. We're talking about volcanoes. Now, volcanoes are big and cool. They're also deadly and scary. But most importantly, they're fascinating. Okay, maybe that's not more important than the fact they're deadly, but still, they are fascinating. I'm going to get to the list in a minute. But first, let's talk about the basics. What is a volcano? Volcanoes are most often found where tectonic plates are diverging or converging. Most volcanoes are actually underwater, but we got plenty above water as well. Other planets have volcanoes too. For example, Venus here in our solar system is known to have plenty O volcano. Volcanoes are classified as active, dormant, or extinct. Active volcanoes have a recent history of eruptions, and they're likely to erupt again. Whereas dormant volcanoes have not erupted for a very long time, but may erupt in the future. Lastly, extinct volcanoes are not expected to erupt in the future at all. We got one more definition, and that's the supervolcano. A supervolcano is not just a regular volcano that wears a cape. It's actually a huge-ass volcano that can produce devastation on a continental scale. Such volcanoes are able to severely cool global temperatures for many years after the eruption due to the huge volumes of sulfur and ash released into the atmosphere. They are the most dangerous type of volcano. Examples include the Yellowstone Caldera in Yellowstone National Park and Lake Toba in Indonesia. I want to talk about the largest volcanic eruptions throughout history that we have record of. Now, you remember I talked about active volcanoes and dormant. Well, there are about 1,350 potentially active volcanoes in the world right now, not counting the volcanoes under the oceans. This is all just the volcanoes above sea level. And about 5,000 of those active volcanoes have erupted in the past 100 years. I don't know about you, that's way more than I thought. Now let's get to the list and talk about all the volcanoes that are plotting our very demise right now as we speak. This ranking covers the top 12 countries with the most active volcanoes as of November 2023. Remember, an active volcano is a volcano that has erupted recently and will probably erupt again. The list comes from Statista, who sourced their data from the Smithsonian Global Volcanism Program. Let's get to it. The top 12. We have a five-way tie for number eight. We're going to start with Tonga, the country of Tonga. They have nine active volcanoes. Recently, uh, just two years ago now, the Hunga Tonga Hunga Hayapai volcano, I'm not making that name up, erupted in January 2022. It generated nearly 50-foot tsunami waves that hit the country, damaging more than 100 homes and killing three people, which for a volcanic eruption of this size, I mean, could have been a lot worse, right? The explosion, which was hundreds of times more powerful than the atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima. Did you fucking hear that? The volcanic eruption from the Hunga Tonga Hunga Hayapai volcano in Tonga was hundreds of times more powerful than the atomic bomb. Crazy. As of now, when I'm recording this, it is the largest volcanic eruption in the 21st century. All right. Also tied for number eight is the country of Iceland. They also have nine active volcanoes. In July of last year, the volcano, uh, bear with me here, Litli Orator, or Little Ram, that volcano erupted. It had been dormant for eight centuries until eruptions in 2021, 22, and 23. Will there be another in 24? I guess we'll find out. Also coming in at number eight is France. Oui, oui. They also have, uh, how do you say nine in French? North, North, I think. Nine active volcanoes in France. The Beton de la Fournaz, or in English, the Peak of the Furnace, is a shield volcano on the eastern side of Reunion Island in the Indian Ocean. It has erupted numerous times over recent years, including last July. Another number eight here is Vanuatu. That's the country. They have nine active volcanoes there. Most recent eruption from the Ambrim volcano in December of 2018. And the last one tied for number eight is Great Britain. Nine active volcanoes. This one is different, though, because as far as I could tell, there are no active volcanoes on the mainland. All the volcanoes are located entirely in overseas territories. But still, it's all part of Great Britain. They're tied for number eight. Let's get to number seven, though. 
It's our friends in Ecuador. They have 12 active volcanoes. The most recent eruption was the Wolf Volcano in 2022. And by the way, this is the winner for the most badass volcano name in the world, just Wolf. Ow, ow, ow! Number six, Papua New Guinea. 13 active volcanoes. Number five is Chile at 19 active volcanoes. Let's go to number four. It's Russia. 27 active volcanoes. Okay, now, I have not worked on my Russian, so this is the best I can do. Their volcano, which is called the uh, Klyachevskoy, is the tallest volcano in all of Europe and Asia and has been continually erupting since mid-June of last year. But on November 1st, a massive explosion released a torrent of smoke and ash, which released a maximum height of almost 8 miles or 12 kilometers above the Earth's surface. Yikes. Number three, it's our home country, at least for me. It's the United States. I did not think they would be so high on this list, but they're the third country with the most active volcanoes in the world. 39 active volcanoes. The most volcanoes for a U.S. are located in Alaska. There's eruptions there almost every year. The rest of the volcanoes are located throughout the American West, and in, there's plenty in Hawaii as well. The Kalawea volcano on the island of Hawaii is one of the most active volcanoes on Earth. It has been erupting nonstop since 1983. What the? Shit's crazy. Yellowstone National Park. Beautiful place, right? Well, it quietly sits on top of a super volcano. That super volcano is 44 miles wide. It's the largest in North America. The last big eruption for the Yellowstone caldera was 630,000 years ago. This eruption was more than 1,000 times larger than the famous 1980 eruption of Mount St. Helens in Washington. 1,000 times larger. Before that, an eruption over 2 million years ago coated over 57 square miles with ash. That's as far as Missouri. There's an author of a book called The End Times, uh, Brian Walsh. He wrote an op-ed in the New York Times that an eruption of this Yellowstone supervolcano would be, quote, like nothing humanity has ever seen and it would be an ultra-catastrophe that could lead to global devastation, even human extinction. Oof, heavy, right? But there's good news. According to the National Park Service, the supervolcano is likely to erupt again in the next thousands of years, but not anytime soon. More likely, a small eruption could happen that leads to lava flow. So, the Yellowstone supervolcano might be a problem for our great-great-great-great-great-great-grandkids, but we're probably fine, right? Probably. All right, that was number three. Let's go to number two, Japan. 40 active volcanoes. Just last year in November, an undersea volcano erupted off Japan that provided a rare birth of a tiny new island. Volcanic ash and rocks piled up on the shallow seabed, its tip rising above the sea surface. By early November, it became a new island about 328 feet in diameter and as high as 66 feet above the sea. So volcanoes are still creating islands to this day. And now let's get to the big one. Number one. Any guesses? Any guesses? I'll give you a second. Indonesia is number one. 55 active volcanoes. And this is where the Lake Toba supervolcano comes in. I mentioned that near the top of the episode. A volcanic winter is thought to have taken place about 70,000 years ago after the super eruption of Lake Toba on Sumatra Island in Indonesia. This may have created a bottleneck effect in human development in which the world's population dramatically shrank, according to scientists. Some scientists believe this eruption caused a global volcanic winter with a 1,000-year-long cooling episode. And according to this bottleneck theory, which again happened sometime around 70,000 years ago, human populations sharply decreased to just 3,000 to 10,000 surviving individuals in the fucking world. Less than 10,000 people. It's crazy, right? And so we all descend from that. It's supported by some genetic evidence suggesting that today's humans, we likely come from the same small group of people that survived after this huge supervolcano in Indonesia. Let me go quickly back through that top 12. We have a five-way tie at number eight, with nine active volcanoes each. Tonga, Iceland, France, Vanuatu, Great Britain. Coming at number seven with 12 volcanoes is Ecuador. Number six with 13 is Papua New Guinea. Number five with the 19 volcanoes is Chile. Number four with 27 volcanoes is Russia. Number three with 39 volcanoes is the United States. God bless America. Number two with 40 volcanoes is Japan. And number one, comfortable lead at number one, is Indonesia with 55 active volcanoes. Whew. Listener, I hope your enjoyment of this episode spilled over like boiling hot lava from a deadly volcano. 
and when the Yellowstone supervolcano inevitably kills us all, I'd like you to remember this episode as the molten lava boils you and your loved ones alive. For now, though, I'd like to thank you for listening to this episode, and I would love to know what you thought of it. Hit me up on social media, at TennisPod, that's 10ISHPOD, that's our username on every social site. Or you can also shoot me an email at TennisPod at gmail.com. I'm looking for your hot takes about volcanoes, pun intended, but also feedback on the format of this series, and I also welcome future topic ideas for the Tiny Tennis. I want to hear from you. Hurry and do it before all the volcanoes wipe us out and destroy humanity. And like I said in the last episode, I'll say it again here. While this episode may have been tiny, my love for you is huge. I'll see you next time.